So to those who don't know, Shernika Johnson recently fought against Susi Ramadan over in Australia in the undercard of the rematch between uh, Devin Haney and George Kambosos Jr. Fight was shown live here in the USA on ESPN+. Plus. You can actually go to ESPN Plus right now and watch the whole entire uh, fight on replay. And uh, and yeah, I honestly did not see the full fight, uh, but I did see a good chunk of it. Um, Shereneka, I don't know how she yet she continued fighting with that big cut over her, her left eye. It, it it was like on her forehead over her left eye. It was a ba very very bad cut. Uh, caused from a headbutt early on in the fight. I think it was round number two or, or one. It was very early on into the fight. And um, it, she was all bloodied up. But the, the corner did a very good job uh, lessening the blood. And uh, Shereneka actually did a pretty good job. Uh, even with all the blood, she was even able to score a knockdown. Uh, it was a jab knockdown. Uh, not the cleanest knockdown, but still a knockdown. And she ended up winning the fight by unanimous decision. And based off what I've seen it when I was grilling, um, it, it looks like her punch output was... She, uh, Rem Ramadan had a, a hard time matching her punch output. And uh, Shereneka did a very good job moving around and picking her shots. And uh, you know, staying active and staying busier compared to Ramadan. Uh, all judges gave it to Johnson, Shereneka Johnson. Uh, 97 90 96 92 96 91 all in favor of Shaneka Johnson who uh, successfully defends her uh, IBF junior featherweight title and with this win she improves to 15 and 1 six wins coming by way of knockout TKO and uh, she gave uh, Ramadan her uh, fourth loss in her pro career uh, Ramadan um, she, she was looking more her age uh, I think that was expected going to this fight list that's what I was expecting um, you know, with the any activity she's had over the past couple of years, uh, you know, her getting knocked down by just jabs shows that maybe, maybe at 43 years old, um, she doesn't have it anymore. And you can tell that she looks a lot older compared to when she was fighting, you know, she was a world champion all the way back in 2012 um, and 20, heck, even compared to when how she looked in 2018, you can tell that she's, she's definitely aged. And, um, you know, it's a passing of the torch. Uh, maybe it's time to hang it up for Ramadan, and uh, and yeah, and as for as for Shirneka, uh what's next for her? Obviously, for every champion, um, I think every champion should try to unify or be undisputed. Uh, but after that cut, I guess time it's time to just rest and heal up, and uh, you know come back strong after that that bad cut heals up. It's a bad bad cut. I mean, look at that. That's not edited or anything. That that's literally this boat photos right here are screenshots from the actual broadcast. She was really, really bloodied up. This is this photo to the left is right right after the headbutt pretty much. It opened up just like that. And then this is the end of the round of the the following round of uh after the headbutt. It, it, she was really bloodied up. And the referee, I, I feel like the doctor could have easily stopped the fight and, you know, let the fight continue on another day if Shereneka said that she couldn't see. Um, but looks like Shereneka wanted to fight and uh, we had herself a fight. So anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Thanks for listening and watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.